Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Just tell me where Dicky is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat him before I break your knees. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Wait, you're that fucking reporter! I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face! Just here to ask a couple of questions. Do I look like a fucking tour guide? You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. Guess that explains how he ended up here. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. And why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Dickie could be here, but 
But I need to be sure. Every second counts. And it was going well. It's just... I don't know. Hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh. This is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kinda is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? What about opioids? Did he say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not gonna help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. No quad, and it's right next to another mobile home. It's not here. Dickie's unlikely to be here. No quad parked out front, and no one seems to be home. There's a quad, but Dickie's supposed to be in a trailer. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. Tyler set himself up nicely. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Look, I just want to talk to the guy who lives right over there. I don't give a shit what you want. Back the fuck hey, off. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'll be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details.
Kayla and her family, I'm assuming. I wonder how long it's been since she saw him. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames. These shavings would be perfect kindling. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Can's empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. These shavings would be perfect kindling. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? create a distraction to get to Dicky. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If 
he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. would move differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind.
That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dickey. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. You clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just wanna take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him for just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna push- me. I don't have time. What did you steal? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on, just let me go. Please, I already told you everything! Yo, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me! I'm begging you, man! Let me go! Let me go! Help! Anyone! Help me! Shut up! Hey, asswipe! Should've known! Damn firebug! I'm gonna kick the shit out of you! Come on! You fucking coward! Show me, give me my rifle! Declan do that. He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This, no one else is gonna die. You can't promise that. It's unfair to think you can. You don't know what's gonna happen. I don't either. But we're the only ones who could possibly bring some closure to these murders. Just control yourself, okay? 
The fire worked, but people could have gotten hurt. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something... Stop it! I'm not doing anything. Other than trying to save your life. You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam! Sam! Sam, stop. there's a turret! Stop! Stop! Sam! Stop! Stop! Stop the car! Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! No! I'm some control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Not freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. The question is, where does it lead? I wish there'd been another way. There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. in control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. At least I'm not being chased this time. Right? Wonder what's in store for me now. Back to square one. Always tackle a problem head on, of course. No running away from it. Looking up everyone's lives. That's a real talent. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions.
It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. was Mr. Perfect. Give me a break. You have no idea. I don't need that right now. deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. That I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here. I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Sam, come with me! Which one are you? Sam, where are you? Sam? Sam? Sam, where are you? Sam, where are you? Follow me. Sam? Sam? 
Sam! You and me, Sam, we can do this. Follow me! I have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Don't leave, Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and... It's not up to me. I'd stay with you if I could. I'm... Sorry. Forgive me, please. Why are you lying? I know you want to leave. What happened to you, Muley? I hope you never come back. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault! I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. I'm sorry I have to go. It's not because of you, though. It's me. I just don't want to go into it right now. Don't worry, we'll stay in touch. No, we won't. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just... I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I have to focus. There's only one of you. I can't just choose them all. Think. Focus.
step I've taken since. Hey. 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 It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've kept everyone at arm's length, especially Joan and Anna. But you're still here. Still trying. I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, 
but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human, and there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. You make it sound so easy. I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. It'll take a lot of work, but we can get you there. No one can enjoy life when they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. What about the world? Everything has a price. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society. Be happy. Let things go. Accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. The truth is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. If Declan arrives, he's gonna see the car. He'll know someone is here.
What are you thinking, Sam? You can't just leave Anna here alone. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. out of your days long enough to join me. You really scared me there. It won't happen again. I'm here. 100%. I hope so. I need you right now. I'm hoping this is the end of all this. One way or another. So much darkness, so fast. Nick. Dennis. I'm ready to see it end. We should get back to finding those files. Any luck yet? I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. <sighs> the dead drop doesn't seem to be here. Too exposed. This would be the classic choice, but no. Nothing. A precarious path out into the dark. Not a bad metaphor for my life right now. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Nowhere to hide a USB stick here. I don't know why I let this place haunt me for so long. Rotten food. Probably too gross even for someone like Dickie. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We we're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. 
All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You always seem to care about this town. Its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. I have to think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. Tackle Declan to get him off Anna. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Muley, it's time to give it your all. Don't underestimate Declan. He's, He's stronger than he looks. Anna's got maybe a couple of seconds tops before he overpowers her. You gotta find a way to stop him, Sam. He'll, He'll kill, kill you both. I could try going for his gun. I could grab his gun, but that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. See me. I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. You know Declan's killed two people already. Put them in the dirt. But he kills for reasons, yeah? He wants, he wants to, to destroy the evidence. And since your girlfriend has it. You better act fast, man.
If I can predict Declan's next action, I'll have a chance to get the jump on him. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. Declan might continue going after Anna. You don't have to fight, just leave. None of this has to ever hurt you again. I'm done running. Declan might attack me now. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. Give me the evidence now. Need another bullet? Wait. Here. Take it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> if I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing... Focused. Account for all the elements at play here. That worked, but Anna's bleeding out. I need to take care of Declan quick. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. Close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! Okay, good. Stay with me. You have to stay with me. I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please! Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however, the journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna.
Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I had to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? Sam. Sam. I've been meaning to call you. Have you talked to Joan? I haven't heard from her since last week. Why? What happened? She ran away. After she heard about Anna's... She just... She left. Do you know where she is? At my sister's. Sam, I don't even know what to do. She won't return my calls. Your calls? Kathy, you have to go talk to her in person. You think I don't know that? You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. <sighs> Any advice? You can't keep blaming her for everything. You also have to work on your own issues. What? Who are you to say that to me? You don't know the first thing about me. I know Joan feels you don't listen to her. She told me last week she already wanted to run away. She even told me about your pills, Kathy. She did. And you didn't think to come warn me? This shows how much you really care about her. Anyway, I was going to take some time off work, get myself together. After everything that's happened, I figured it's time I got a hold of things. I didn't need you to tell me that. Take care of yourself, Sam. Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? I'm actually doing pretty good. I feel like I'm finally in a place, mentally. Finally me. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. If you feel it's the right thing to do. Believe me, it doesn't feel right one bit, but my flame has run its course. 
Without Nick. Without Dennis. Can't run a paper by yourself. Nor would I want to. Well, I, I've taken up enough of your time. I'll leave you to the other guests. Drop me a line sometime. Drop me a line. And you make sure to push yourself. Get some fresh air. Don't let these doctors keep you cooped up for too long now. Oh, Sam, you're finally here. I was looking for you. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, well, I got some good news for you for once. We found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. And since your testimony and Anna's corroborate Dickie's statement, no charges are going to be filed against you or Anna. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. You and the Basswood police have a lot to answer for. A lot. We do. Declan pulled the wool over all of our eyes. All I can say is, we're all just people. Ain't no such thing as the Basswood police. Just people entrusted with power. And Declan, as terrible as it seems he was, was not always a bad person. My sin is failing to see the man he became, rather than the one he once was. You were his commanding officer. You're the only one who could have stopped him. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. Though I guess you always do, huh? Nothing more to say to each other. So, so I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? Better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, you saved my life. I'm also the reason you were in danger. Except you aren't. Dickie would have still broken into my house. It's true. I really wish we'd gotten what was in those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. Yeah, you're probably right. I just hate loose ends. 
Life is made of loose ends. People are made of loose ends. Loosen up. That's what I like to do the least. Same old Sam. So what are you gonna do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'll finish up Nick's article. It's the least I can do for him. It's the least we can do. We'll finish the article together. Uh-huh. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. I'm just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Right or wrong, it doesn't feel good. People got hurt. That may be true. Still, what you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. good. Common, 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 common good shit. Common good shit, right? I know what she'll say. She'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. I don't, don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way! Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? You? You're a sociopath. A monster. What? 
Young man, I know you've been under a lot of strain lately. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. Kathy has to have the specifics. She's nervous, and probably scared. But your trigger man is gone. Do you think she'll stay scared? Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs, I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? Three. There are three dead people at your feet and one person badly injured. Don't pretend anything excuses that. I'm not asking for you to explain, I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Kathy was always in the way. You used Kathy as a shield. Come now, you knew him. You think he was so easily misguided. A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father. Both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals, mobsters, lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it.
Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the deck. Um.